Hello dear traders, we have launched on YouTube the free basic crypto trading course for our subscribers. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to get all of our free trading videos. In this one hour video you will learn the basics of cryptocurrency trading. The trader Petko Alexandrov will dive into details that every trader needs to know before actual trading. He will demonstrate live trading examples for manual and algorithmic trading and more. We have included 12 robots in this course. In the description you will find discounted link to the complete course for those of you who want to learn more. Now let's get started with the free course and let me know if you have questions in the comments below. Hello dear students, I'm Desi Ivanova and I'm happy to welcome you to the basic cryptocurrency trading course. In this first lecture I will introduce you to the main topics that we will cover during the course. First, we will start with the trading brokers, how to choose a good trading broker and how to recognize the bad brokers or the so-called scam brokers. And if you are a beginner, you will learn what the brokers are and why we prefer to use them when trading with cryptocurrencies. We will introduce you to one of the most common platforms called MetaTrader. It's the most trusted platform for algorithmic trading and it's an enjoyable and comfortable platform to use for manual trading. After that, we will go through CFD trading and you will learn how you can profit from trading the cryptocurrencies even when the price is going down. You will learn about the different chart types, trading specifications, the spread and the swap. Simply, you will learn everything you needed to know before actual trading. Our head trader Petko Alexandrov will teach you about the importance of good money management, especially when we do leverage trading. Then, we will go to the trading itself. You will learn the different types of orders that you can use with most of the platforms, stop loss and the take profit, the important levels on the market and the doubt theory, which will help you to get recognized if the price is going up or down. This is very important, especially when we are trading manually to follow the trend and to trade in the same direction. And after that, we will go through the drawing tools like the trend lines and the counter trend lines, which are very useful in most of the trading strategies. Here, Petko will show you one of his manual trading strategies that he uses successfully. You will see trading examples and this way it will be easier for you to learn the strategy. Also, in this basic cryptocurrency trading course, we will go more advanced stuff like the algorithmic trading with cryptocurrencies. You don't need to have any programming skills for that. We will introduce you to professional software and you will see how we generate, test and automate strategies without programming needed. Petko Alexandrov will show you trading with robots. He uses many strategies and he places many robots in one account. This way, he can see which ones are performing well and choose the top robots to trade in a live account. In this course, he will share with you 12 of his best trading robots. You will find them attached to the course and you can use them for your trading. Of course, the best is to test first on a virtual account. This way, you will not be risking any real money until the moment you feel ready, until the moment you feel satisfied with your results. And more, these 12 robots will be updated regularly. Once enrolled for the course, you will receive lifetime updates. Welcome one more time to the course and I wish you to enjoy it. Cheers! Hello dear traders, this is Petko Alexander from EA Forex Academy. And in this lecture, I will simply give you the idea of what is to be a cryptocurrency trader. In front of you, you can see a trading platform called MetaTrader 4. This is one of the most common platforms among the brokers and we will be using this one during this course because it's a free platform. And I will show you what are the different assets we can trade and of course the different cryptocurrencies. And here you can see that we have our virtual account that we will be working on. I will teach you how you can open a virtual 
account with virtual money so you're not risking anything because it's essentially important for the beginner trader to start practicing first with a virtual money and not to risk real money so in front of you you can see four cryptocurrencies the ethereum the bitcoin the litecoin the dash and what is to be a cryptocurrency trader let's go for example to the ethereum so what is the idea of trading guys uh, basically the idea here is that we enter into the market and we exit quickly with profits okay this is what we are aiming for so simply said guys as traders you will enter into the market with a predefined strategy with a predefined system that i will show you at the end the idea is that we enter into the market we open a trade for example we open a long trade at certain level and then when we are on to profit and we have our exit condition the signal to take the profit we are out and we take the profit okay so let's say somewhere here just to give you a brief example we enter at 763 and we are out on 973 we benefit this difference we take this profit and we are out we don't invest we don't wait with days and weeks the price to go higher just for a couple of hours or days maximum we take our profit and we are out and we are waiting for the next opportunity that comes on the market so simply guys this is what trading is we focus on different assets we use strategies that i will teach you in this course and we enter into the market and we go out quickly we don't invest we don't wait for a long time but what we do simply is to take quick profits and to wait for the next opportunity and for this reason we are using the brokers and i will explain you in the next lecture what are the brokers and how you need to choose one thank you for watching cheers hello again dear traders in this lecture i will explain you what are the brokers so these are the companies which provide us these trading platforms so metatrader as i said already is a free training platform and many of the brokers are offering it so simply the brokers give us the access to the real market okay through their platforms we have the opportunity to trade on the real market and to trade the cryptocurrencies or stocks or forex indexes any assets that we want to trade okay so simply we fund a trading account with the broker we install this metatrader platform which i will show you how you can do that and by the money we have in the account we can trade all of these assets and i will show you how to open one and of course as i said we need to start always with a virtual with demo account to practice before we start trading with real money and it's very important to choose a good trading broker and i will explain you in the next lecture how to recognize the scam brokers because this is the first step and it's very important guys to have a legit a regulated broker for your trading okay guys so i will continue straight away with the next lecture cheers hello dear traders this is petko alexandrov and i continue now with the lecture where i will show you how you can download and install the metatrader platform it's very easy so when you select your broker i will show you with the pepperstone i have chosen for this course as i told you the websites of the brokers are pretty similar login section for their clients there is the web trader live support if you have any questions to those uh, broker forex trading so you see here you have the different instruments the trading account different trading account and the trading conditions of course i'm not going into details about these things because when you choose the broker you can read about the particular broker and here are the trading platforms you can see metatrader 4 there is for mac there is the metatrader 5 and there are the applications for the phone the web trader so the web trader is a web-based platform and actually many brokers have only web trading platforms and they don't have metatrader 4 or 5 
there is the C Trader. So the really huge brokers, they offer like uh, plenty of platforms, but the ones that are just starting or just the small brokers are having mostly web trading platforms. So I would just want to show you what that is. When I click on web trader, you will see the platform itself appear on the website. And here is asking me about the login and password and server details. So if I click on demo, you can see here, if I write down info at yaforexacademy.com, I can actually open a demo account. Here you can select if you want to use hedging or not. If I click on next, you see very quickly, I have a demo account opened. Here is my login number, the password and the investor password. What is the investor password guys? This is a password that you can give to investors. So for example, if you are a professional trader and you want to trade with the money of someone else, of some investor, you give them only this password. So they will watch the account, but they cannot touch any trade and they cannot do any trading. And this investor password or read only password is used when we connect MetaTrader to some websites where we are following the performance of the expert advisors. But I will talk about that later on. And I see that I have my trading account open already. So here I can open and close some trades and do trading web based over their website. Okay, so I will close it now. I don't need that. What I need is to have the platform on my computer and now I will go to trading platforms and then I will click on MetaTrader 4. Once again, it's a personal choice if you want to use MetaTrader 4 or 5. Here in the academy, we're still using MetaTrader 4. There are still some mistakes in MetaTrader 5 and there are no really advantages in MetaTrader 5 guys. So simply we do it with MetaTrader 4, it's up to you. Okay, so here you can read more about it. What I want to do, download MetaTrader 4 for Windows. Here you choose if you are registered user or new user. So I will do it as a new user. So you can see the steps that I will follow. And here you need to write down the name. So it's Petko Alexandrov and email I will use the one from the academy info at eaforexacademy.com so here I will leave the phone of the academy and I click on open demo account and I am right on the next page let's see what is it your application will be complete within a secure client area in order to gain access and so on and so on so what I need to do now, guys, we have sent you email to your specified email address. Please click on the verification email. Okay, just let me log into the email. Okay, I just did it on my other screen. So let me just put it here, guys. Okay, so here I am choosing what platform I want to use, MetaTrader 4 or CTrader, and what currency I'd like to do. It's up to you guys what currency you want to do. It's the best thing to use currency that you will be funding later on your real account if you are planning actually to trade with real money. So I will do it with American dollars. And now leverage guys, what is leverage? I will choose just one to 200 normally we use or one to 100. Actually the leverage is what gives us the opportunity to trade bigger amounts, okay? So let's say I select leverage one to 200. This means that I can open trades 200 times bigger than my amount. So for example, if I choose 10,000, I can open trades for $2 million, okay? Obviously this is extremely risky if I do it. So if I buy Ethereum or Bitcoin with the maximum possible, I can do trading with 2 millions and obviously there the risk to lose the 10,000 will be extremely high and of course I can do a lot of money as well but this is really risky so we don't do this we don't trade with all of the money we have but the leverage 
in trading is exactly the way that we are trading by trading much bigger amount than we have in our account. So here comes the good money management, which I will talk a little bit later into the course and I will explain more about leverage. But just to keep it simple here, guys, if you have $10,000 of account and you choose one to 200, you can actually execute an order for two million dollars and if you buy let's say one asset for two million dollars and if the price just move a little bit lower and the moment you have ten thousand dollars of a loss you will be out and you will lose all of your money so simply we don't do that we choose here to use the leverage but we don't trade with all of the money that we have in our account. Probably a little bit complicated for the very new guys, but I will explain it later on. Don't worry about it. Okay, so here you can choose a standard Razer account. You can read about the difference of these two with different brokers is different. So I'm not going into details about it. And I click on create an account and you will see that I have registered a new demo account. So this is the server. And then I have uh, my demo trading account password and demo trading account number. And some of the brokers like Pepperstone as well, they have like one month trial. Okay, one month demo account. So if you want to use this demo account for a longer time, you just need to write on their live chat and ask them to extend this account or to make it lifetime so it will not expire. Okay, and it's not with all of the brokers, but some of the brokers are doing that. So you just need to contact their live chat and ask them to extend it for a longer period of time. And then here comes this uh, button, download trading platform, guys. I click on it and you see here I have now the opportunity to download MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader for Windows and for Mac. We are using uh, Windows, we don't use uh, Apple. And you see here, I have downloaded uh, the .exe file to install the platform. And if I open my downloads folder, you will see it's right over here. So the installation itself, guys, is really easy. I double click on it and you will see these are the terms and conditions and license agreement. I just click on next and the process is very quick. Normally, it will send you to their web page of uh, MQL5. And actually, you can download the platform straight away from the MetaTrader website MQL5. But what they have done, they have removed MetaTrader 4 from there as an installation file. So if you download MetaTrader 4, it will actually download for you MetaTrader 5. Okay, this is because they want to push the clients to MetaTrader 5. Anyway, if they stop MetaTrader 4 for support, we will just go to MetaTrader 5. As I said, no huge advantages and disadvantages there. There is so much more to read here on their website, but I'm not really actually interested in anything there. I just need the platform. Pretty much that's it. The installation It's very quick. And once you install it, you will see that you're not connected to the server and you don't have any trading screen in front of you. So after that, what you do, you go to file and log in to trade account and you will see the login details, the password and the server. So you can just type it in and you click on login and you will be on. Okay. The other way that you can open a demo account is if you already have MetaTrader downloaded, you can go to file, open an account and here are the servers. So I will just select, for example, Pepperstone demo 01. I click on next. I want to open new demo account. I click on next and you can see that uh, my details were saved. So what I need to do only is I click on, I agree to subscribe to your newsletters because anyway, it will not show me the next button and I click on finish and I will have another account open, another demo account. It will take just a couple of seconds to connect. And you can see here down is the speed. So here you can see actually if you're having a good connection with uh, the broker. 
and pretty much that's it guys in the beginning it gives you four windows with the currencies euro dollar pound dollar dollar yen australian dollar against the american dollar and here are all the assets with pepperstone the bitcoin is on the bottom and if you don't see them like i just actually do not see now the cryptocurrencies i need to right click with the mouse and select show all so they will just appear here how you place them over the chart it's very easy just click on it and drag it and you see i have now the bitcoin here over the chart and then i will do for example the same with the ethereum and then the litecoin and then the dash so i have the four cryptocurrencies right over here I can put each one to maximize it and if I just double click on one they will show tail windows or if I click right mouse and I select tail windows I have them for here arranged and of course guys I will explain you more about the MetaTrader and how you can use it there are many free videos over internet about using MetaTrader because it's a free platform but I will show you and I will explain you a little bit more in details just the important things that you need and the things that we will need in this course to do actually some trading at the end of the course. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. It's not really a hard thing to do. One time you do it and you will get used with it. Cheers! Dear traders, I continue now with the lecture where I will explain you what means CFD trading because this is exactly what we are doing and now I have the two platforms on my screen there is the one that I had from the beginning it's actually the very same thing only you can see there is difference on the colors so I will close this one that I have used to show you how you can download and install the MetaTrader and to open a demo account so here I have set the colors white I will show you in the next section of the course how you can modify the charts and you can actually change every color there the way that you feel comfortable the way you have it more visible and now what is CFD trading if I put my mouse on the Bitcoin guys you can see that I have Bitcoin versus the American dollar calculation CFD and this means contracts for difference okay let me just type it in here it is CFD and it stands for contract for difference this means that when we are trading we don't actually buy Bitcoin Ethereum Litecoin Dash we don't actually buy Cooper or gold or any index or any currency on the top but what we do is we make a contract for difference with our broker so let's take an example with the ethereum let's say you buy at a certain level i will just put it somewhere randomly let's put it around 1000 so let's say you buy at 1000 and then the price goes up and you close your trade at 1200 for example where is it right over here let me just put vertical lines to make it more visual okay so I will also zoom it I will show you in the next lecture as I said about the lines how you can draw trend lines vertical horizontal lines but now I just want to explain you what is CFD trading okay so if I put one line here you can see the price was right over there and if I buy at this moment one ethereum at 1000 and when the price goes up to 1200 and I close the trade I will benefit that difference of $200 so I am not actually buying the Ethereum as a cryptocurrency but I am trading on the difference of the price of this asset if the price goes against me and I lose I will lose the difference from the moment I have bought till the moment I close the position so very simply said we trade on the value of the asset every time we buy we make a contract with our broker that if the price goes in our favor and we close the position at a certain level the broker will pay us this difference as profit and in the same time if the price goes against us and we lose 
we will pay the broker the loss so simply we will lose if the price goes against us so very simply this is contract for difference you can read much more about it over internet but it is simple as that we have amount of money into our account no matter is it real money or demo money as i have selected here to use 10,000 of a demo account we trade with this money and when we open a trade and we close it we will either benefit the difference or we will lose the difference if the price goes against us okay guys thank you for watching that's the cfd it's not in heart hope it's clear cheers hello dear traders it's petko alexander from ea forex academy today is 15th of january 2018 and i continue now with the trading itself so i will go first over the manual trading and in the next section i will go to algorithmic trading manual trading guys is the trading where we place manually the trades the pending orders that i have showed you according to some signals that we have from the chart itself it's much more on the chart than the candlesticks that i have showed you in details or the bars actually these candlesticks form different formations different patterns they stop at important levels and they retest these important levels and so on and so on so now i will go through the basics and actually these basics are very important when it comes to manual trading and simply this uh, price action trading represents very much the behavior of the traders of the sellers and the buyers and the supply and the demand okay so first of all i will start with uh, the support and resistance levels so i will just make my screen bigger i will close now this navigator and the market watch so i will have a bigger screen okay and i will go to daily chart now with the ethereum you can see a very aggressive uptrend i will explain you exactly in the next lecture what is uh, the trend but we can say here that there are some important levels where the price has stopped and where the price has retested so i will just take a horizontal line and i will place it right over here to show you a quick example just what i see immediately it is at the level of 395.30 and you can see that this level was important two times on the market guys it was one time here one time here the price didn't break this level and then when it broke it it retested it one time, two time, three time with this candle and then continued higher. The first time when the price reached this level, you can see that the bars didn't succeed to close above it. I mean, you don't see a candle close above the level. And then again, you see the price here stop. And then here we have this impulsive break. We call this impulsive break when we have a long candle that closes on the top and when bigger part of the candle is above the important level okay so these are three important things to say when a certain level an important level that we call a resistance is broken impulsively so one is we have a long candle two is we have that this candle closes on the top and three is that the bigger part of the candle is on the upside now with this example i think the line is nearly in the middle but still i consider it to be a very aggressive break of this important level now guys what is support exactly and what is resistance now when the price goes up and it stops at current level minimum of two times like this case we say that this is a strong resistance line so here we have resistance from the sellers or in this case it was that just huge players are taking profit and the price went down anyway 400 is a round number it affects the traders you can see here that at 200 as well the price just stopped and then break then we had a retest so if i place this line here again at around 200 you will see guys that right over here so 210 so the price just went a little bit higher than 200 went down to 100 nearly 
and then went up again. So at this time as well, this line was a resistance. At this point of $209, there was a resistance for the price to go higher, okay? And now when the price broke it, and then retested it you can see here there are two three days that the price couldn't close below 2000 this line already is a support okay it's not a resistance it's resistance during this time but here already it is a support it supports the up movement the buyers are much stronger than the sellers and they push the price higher now the next level comes over here at 395 and you can draw it actually from the top which I prefer more to put it really on the top where the price reach. As you can see here this level would be still a resistance because the price even didn't reach to it and actually here you see that this previous level of 200 it was still a support because the price just broke it but this day didn't close below this level so the price just bounced from it and then this level you can see here that again we have break and then the price couldn't succeed actually to go lower there were one two three four five six days that were just breaking down but really we don't have a huge candle or a close below this level so it's a personal choice guys how you will draw it would you like to draw it from the wick from the top of the bar would you like to draw it on the closing of the bars personally i prefer to draw it from the wick from the top okay because the price was there if i draw it like that and i just started showing you with this way because many traders are just fitting the lines where there are more points so in this case you can see here is a point 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 another one and then here is another one but first time the price broke this level it went actually up to here don't try to fit the lines where you see so many tops and bottoms or weeks and tails just place them where the first time price reached here and then you see if this level was actually important or it was not important so for me these two levels are important because they have more than two three times where the price stopped at these levels and so went the other way so let's go to the recent uh, market it's really hard now to find such levels because guys the price is really aggressive going up but let me just put one more here so it is right here if i go back you will see that here below 500 there is important level as well right over here because the price first formed this top let me just go back okay at this moment you see here it was 492 this bar one day two this candlestick of one day second day the third day broke but it didn't succeed to close above it went lower it didn't succeed as well to close below the 400 so you see price just stays between 400 and 500 which proves what i was saying that these round numbers are very important when it comes to the cryptocurrency especially they're important in forex in stocks in everything round numbers guys they affect traders psychologically very very strongly that's why I keep them in mind if the price reaches a round number it's a great opportunity to take your profit okay and then take it on a cheaper price so what happened after that the price broke higher and you can see here this huge drop that we had we had it from the bitcoin of obviously it affected the other cryptos and here the price just bounced out of the 500 and went higher again now here in the recent days guys we don't have any important uh, levels because the price is just aggressively going up and i can place one more here at 1378 or just where the top is 1379 so here, this is another important level and as you can see today the price just failed to break above it so for me already is an important level i would just go to h1 chart i will go to the end and you can see here is the level where the price stopped and the price fell down and now today it tried to break it again 
it reached 1374 and now we will see if the price will just uh, continue lower or it, it will make another push and it will break this level so to summarize it guys we look for support and the resistance for the important levels over the market when we go on daily chart and we place these important levels on tops where the price actually stopped so these levels were resistance at this moment and then it's very possible that the price will retest these levels like what happened here you can see the price just retested it even it didn't reach exactly guys don't look always to be exactly exactly at the line but it's enough to see that it price went close and it pushed up again and then you see it broke this level lower and then it went up again so this level was one time two times three times so this makes it important and here is a fourth time and then same thing with the price here it failed to break the 415 and then the price here again it didn't even reach and then here at this moment you see it broke it and then we just have the price going between the 400 and 500 and just break above it and then we have one more fantastic retest here of 490 with uh, this candle this aggressive bar when the price just failed nearly 50% of the value of the Ethereum. Now we are looking at 1379. So now this is a resistance level guys and if the price breaks above it, it will be very possible that the price will actually bounce or retest this important level. So for example, I can put one more line here at 860 because you see at this moment the price failed to break above it it formed a new high a new record high for this moment after that the price broke it but if the price fails down guys this will be the next level i will be looking at okay if the price just drops like this day i will be looking at this next level which is the last level that showed resistance and now it's already a support so pretty much these are the support and resistance lines these are the important levels that affect the market that we are looking at and we are having in mind especially when we are entering into a trade so i will keep them on the chart now and i will show in the next lectures a few more things about the trend the trend lines the counter trend lines and i will show you an example strategy and in this example strategy actually these uh, support and resistance levels are just a tip actually where to put your stop loss obviously sometimes we use them sometimes we don't use them and i will show you that in the next lectures okay guys thank you for watching and i will continue straight away cheers dear traders i will continue now with uh, the trend and uh, the trend lines so first i will do this support and resistance levels a little bit thinner i just uh, made them more visual for the previous lecture but from here you can actually make them thinner okay i will show you so right mouse over the line horizontal line properties and from here you can change the green color to any other color normally when we are in an uptrend i prefer to use green colors so this gives me i can say a visual feeling that we are in an uptrend and we are looking to buy the ethereum or the asset that we are trading on so i will just make the others as well thin i click on ok and that's it of course the ones that are really far from the price guys you can just remove them from the chart or you can keep them it's up to you so what is the trend guys the trend simply said it's a series of higher highs and higher lows this is the Dow theory this is a theory from 100 years and it's applicable till today and actually Charles Dow was a journalist and founder of the Wall Street Journal and his theory is applicable even with the cryptocurrencies and he invented that 
just uh, more even than hundreds of years ago. I do believe it was around the uh, end of uh, 19th century. So I can say this was a really extraordinary man who invented this uh, theory and uh, this theory is applicable till today on Forex, on stocks and now we use it as well in cryptocurrencies. There are six basic tenets of Dow theory. You can just uh, Google it and found it in the internet guys. I'm not going to spend time on that. What is the most important thing? What we use for from this Dow theory is that we are in an uptrend when we have series of higher highs and higher lows. So the price forms these highs and these lows. Let me just take some mark. I can use an arrow for example or actually it is better to take some shape like uh, ellipse triangle no matter really which one. For example here we have this high okay you see the price just formed a new high at this moment and then what we have is another high over here let me just take another shape triangle right over here i'm just placing these triangles to point out uh, the tops guys don't look at the shape of the triangles very randomly i put them and now we have a new high let me just uh, take another triangle and here it is so what we have we have one high a higher high and a higher high so we have series of higher highs and what we have in the same time is series of higher lows you can see this is a low right over here and this is another low nearly the same level but a little bit higher and then we have this one over here so the price forms these high and lows which are forming the trend and i will place just uh, one or two more shapes triangle right over here we have this low and then we have another one or the recent one we are in an uptrend when we have series of higher highs and series of higher lows and of course the opposite thing we are in a downtrend when we have series of lower highs and series of lower lows so at the current moment the ethereum is absolutely in an uptrend without any doubts and of course as with every theory there are so many arguments and questions like when exactly the trend is changing when we consider that the trend will change how many highs and lows we have for me the trend is changing when we have two series of lower highs and the lower lows so obviously this is what Dow theory is and so we don't need to change it or to modify it if we have two series of sellers stronger than the buyers i do believe that we are looking into the short trade but at the current moment you can see very clearly that we are in an uptrend with the ethereum and we are looking to buy it when it comes to the manual trading now very quickly i will go to the bitcoin as well what we have here guys this is what we call sideways market okay because till this moment we have again series of higher highs and higher lows and now the price formed a lower high let me just point it out i will put again shapes and choose triangles so this high guys obviously is lower than this one okay so this is a first sign that the price might reverse but we are still not in a down trend let me just take another triangle you can see here this is the most recent low formed by the price and so far we don't have a lower low if the price breaks this low of 10655 we will have already a lower high and a lower low so obviously we will be in a down trend with a series of lower lows and lower highs now after that if the price forms another lower high and another lower low we have just confirmation that the price is in a downtrend and some traders are actually waiting for that for me it's too late i normally trade it when i see just a lower high and a lower low than the recent one and this is enough for me to trade the other direction and sometimes i'm just waiting for the confirmation in order to trail the stop loss 
or to move my stop loss if I'm into the trade and so on. But the idea here, guys, we're in an uptrend when we have series of higher highs and higher lows and we're in a downtrend when we have series of uh, lower highs and lower lows so i will just put one more shape over here triangle so if the price forms another low lower than that one we will have this lower high and lower low and we can say that we will be in downtrend with the bitcoin now with the litecoin guys what we have let me just go to the end it's pretty much the same thing very similar to the bitcoin let me just zoom it a little bit we have this lower high but this low is still not broken so we still say that we are in an uptrend okay and let me just go to the dash pretty much the same thing here you can see that we have lower high but this low is still not broken and of course these trends are applicable as well to the lower time frames like for example if i go to h1 chart what you will see that here very clearly we are in a downtrend on h1 chart you see i have lower highs and lower lows of the price and it's pretty much the same thing with litecoin and the dash if i zoom it to h1 chart you will see pretty much the same thing and let me just show you the bitcoin we have very clearly low trend so we can say that on h1 chart the bitcoin is already in a downtrend but this happens too many times guys so for example if i zoom this period here you will see as well on h1 chart that the bitcoin is going down and as well here so we're looking the daily or even sometimes the weekly chart to follow the major trend the major direction and with some strategies we enter in h1 to follow the smaller direction and i have another course recently actually for the ethereum where it is totally based on the dow theory and the highs and the lows and basically there i am explaining the strategy where i am entering into the trade when h1 trend confirms the daily trend okay and i'm entering on h1 and i'm using the dow theory on the smaller time frame when i have the confirmation from the higher time frame so pretty much this is the dow theory series of higher highs and higher lows and when it comes to manual trading it's essentially important to follow the trend guys the bigger movement to trade with the direction of the trend and not the opposite way thank you very much guys for watching if you have any questions about that never hesitate to ask me just uh, write on the dashboard cheers guys thanks for watching bye dear traders i continue now with uh, the counter trend line and actually i have one whole course called uh, the never losing formula bitcoin trading and it is based on the counter trend line which actually gives us fantastic entry point for the trades and i will show you an example here in this course as well so i will continue now with the ethereum because i draw lines and trend lines and i will leave uh, the others for you as practical activities just to practice to draw the trend lines the counter trend lines over the chart so what is the counter trend line from the name obviously you understand that this is a line that is opposite the trend and trend line is the line which gives us the sign that the price continues the trend now if i take this most recent high actually this is the record high that we have on the ethereum i will draw the counter trend line on the opposite direction and you can see for example if i connect it with this high over here here i have a great entry guys you see very impulsive break what we were saying that impulsive break when we have a long candle closes on the high and the bigger part of the candle is above the line so it's the same rule when we do counter trend line so if i come back here you see i have my counter trend line and if i just move it slowly you will see that what happened is the price broke it retested it very same thing what i said 
with the support and resistance when any line is important to the market it's very possible that the price will retest it and it will continue higher now if i go back you will see that this counter trend line could be actually on many places right it could be here connecting some of this high or i can put it here and draw it here you will see it will give me another great entry so what's the idea here we are in an uptrend the price reverses okay but we don't know how far it will go down we can use the support we can use the trend line but the important is that we want to enter with the trend just when the price starts to go up again it starts to follow the trend again so i will have this great entry at this level over here and as you can see you would have great profits if you have entered there now i can draw it here you can draw it on so many places guys obviously here another great entry and then you can go back and back and you can go much lower in the price you will see that there are some great great opportunities using the counter trend line that's why i will leave it to you with the other cryptos just draw it by yourself to see it by yourself so when we have a recent high guys just connect it with the other ones and you need minimum two and this example here is great because you can see that here i have one touch two touch and three touches nearly here which makes the counter trend line very sustainable very strong and it makes the counter trend line important to the market and as you can see here if you enter here your stop loss would be great to keep it just below the trend line but anyway i really don't want to give examples over history data because many instructors are doing that they will give you so many examples it's great to enter here it's great to do this it's great to do this obviously it's very easy when you know what happened yeah so i will go back to the recent moves the ones that we have from today from the last days and as we said the recent counter trend line was this one over here okay which gave this great opportunity to enter i actually recorded with the other ethereum trading course that i launched recently here an example where the price broke exactly this level but it was because of the trend on the lower time frame it's totally different system i don't want to make it confusing here for you guys so let's focus on this counter trend line what we have when we have counter trend line is that we have aggressive counter trend line this means that this is a great opportunity to enter at this price when the price breaks the counter trend line but we can draw more aggressive counter trend line which will be from this top connecting this top over here now you can see that if i entered here i would enter in a long position in a buy position on much cheaper price so instead of entering at around 1240 i would be entering at 1184 as i said i don't want to give examples over the chart so let's go to the most recent movement that we have from today i will just zoom it a little bit even more and you see these are the last hours from today and let me just take the line and you see from here i can draw this counter trend line now if the price breaks above i can enter or if the price just forms another lower high i can draw more aggressive counter trend line and enter into the trade now this is the example strategy guys that i want to show you for manual trading so for this strategy we will need actually three things one is we follow the trend on the daily chart 
let me just show you where is it we follow the trend on daily chart we have series of higher highs and higher lows and when i go to h1 chart we are having the counter trend line and we are looking for the more aggressive counter trend line to enter into the trade with the direction of the trend now obviously if i just zoom out a little bit you can see that this is already aggressive counter trend line because the counter trend line would be this one over here connecting this record high that we have and the most recent one but this is nearly nearly a support and resistance you can see it's very close to a horizontal line anyway it's not a horizontal line so we can consider that this line is a counter trend line as well and here we have this aggressive counter trend line so if the price now goes lower and forms another lower high i will have another more aggressive counter trend line and i will be able to show you an example with this aggressive counter trend line and i will do this in the next lecture cheers guys Dear traders, I continue now with the example that we have with the dash from today. You can see that the price is just at our take profit level, guys. I will zoom it in because I want you to see what exactly I am talking about. The price reached this level and it's even a little bit lower. But you see that we have bid price of 610.11 and we have ask price of 600. 18 okay so we said that when we sell it we sell it on the bid price but we will close on the ask price so the bid price reached our take profit guys of 610 but the position is not closed and now since we have this strong support below at 607 and 600 level at all if i just uh, zoom out a little bit on the daily chart you will see that this level here one time two time three time four times was important to the market and now just for a couple of dollars or a couple of cents i don't want to risk my take profit so what i told you i will admire everybody who in this moment just closes the trade and takes the profit all right it is up to you guys if you want to do that you can leave it to the take profit but especially when there is such a strong support below i prefer to take the profit you see that we took a fantastic move today and i'm very happy with that and i don't want to risk this profit for a few cents here or for one two three dollars all right so my advice to you guys is if you are very very close to your take profit don't be greedy just uh, close the position take the profit and get out so pretty much this is our trading system for manual trading it is nothing hard you need to identify the daily trends look for these important levels guys because in moment like that they could be crucially important for you look for the trend because the trends persist and it is very good if you trade manually to follow the trends and now if the price goes lower and breaks this low we will have another lower low on daily chart and uh, this is actually with uh, most of the cryptocurrencies today they are very very negative i had a very similar setup here that i was trading into one of my real accounts just to show you on bitcoin h1 chart you can see here that i am having these uh, few aggressive counter trend lines that were very close so the original one was coming up from here let me just show it to you you will see that this is the original counter trend line coming from here and if i just zoom it in you will see that i had few more aggressive counter trend lines here is the failure of the recent low then the price just broke it and i have taken the profit earlier this afternoon even the price continues lower guys i'm following stop losses and take profits but in cases as uh, this one if i go back one more time to the dash 
where we have this important support level my advice to you guys is take your profit and get out of course if the price continues lower don't be upset or frustrated about that because you have made profit and this is the most important i hope this manual system is clear guys and if you have any questions at any moment you can always ask me thank you for watching cheers hello dear traders it's petko alexandro from ea forex academy today is 23rd of january 2018 and i have opened another demo account where i will show you how actually you need to place the expert advisors over the meta trader now you see recently while i was actually recording this course pepperstone has added the ripple as well as a trading asset what i will do i will leave it for you guys as a practice activity just to create strategies if you want of course to do that with the ripple for algorithmic trading just import the history data put it in ea studio generate strategies select the top ones and put them on demo so this way you will be having uh, practice how to do this for yourself and if you want to do this guys you can go to ea studio trial account from here you can start a two weeks trial account and uh, you can do this exercise for the ripple or of course during this period of time you can generate as many strategies and export them as expert advisors for free for two weeks so what we need to do now guys is to place the expert advisors here in metatrader how we do that we go to file open data folder and then we click on mql4 after that you need to click on experts and here is the correct place where we need to place the expert advisors here you can see are all the expert advisors and i have downloaded actually for mt4 and for mt5 but i will use now for the purpose of this course mt4 and i will just paste them in this folder okay guys so you see now i have this mql source file this is the file where you see the code of the expert advisor let me just open one and you will see the code itself for this strategy okay here it is here are the stop loss and take profit values the indicator parameters basically all the conditions for exit for entries stop losses take profits everything that is the strategy as a code when i'm looking at this to be honest with you i don't get a thing because i'm not a developer obviously with the years i have some idea i can change some things but normally i don't touch anything here guys because i don't want to mess up the code and i don't want to cause any troubles with it so what we do is we need the ex4 file okay this is the compiled file i will close this folder now and i will right click to expert advisors and i will click on refresh so this will force metatrader to compile the expert advisors and if i click the plus you will see that uh, these strategies were compiled so what i mean by compiled guys i will go one more time to the same folder open data folder i'm going to mql4 i click on experts and now you will see here that here are these ex4 files okay so basically this is the trading robot and here is just the code so when they are compiled they are ready for trading and normally if you purchase an expert advisors over the market they provide you only this type of file and they don't provide the code and here by using EA studio you have access to the code once again if you are not a professional developer i don't suggest you to touch anything there so i close the folder and what i need to do now is i need to open 12 windows or 12 charts three for bitcoin three for ethereum three for litecoin and for the dash right mouse and i click on chart window and one more time i click on chart window okay so you see here i can drag them to put them in order and you see i have one ethereum open so i will open two more chart window chart window and i will place them here so they stand together and litecoin two more chart window 
chart window okay I am moving them right here next to the previous light coin and then for the dash another two chart window chart window there is a small arrow here to right scroll so you can use it if you have more charts to move to the left and to the right now I have already three for Bitcoin three ethereum Litecoin and the dash now very important here is to make all time frames properly so it's essentially important guys if you create a strategy for h1 to put it on h1 chart and not on m15 or any other time frame always keep that in mind and here of course i can just drop a line very quickly about trading manually many people are using one and the same strategy for h1 chart for m30 or m15 also for the expert advisors i have received so many questions why these expert advisors don't work on the other frames simply because they were created for h1 they work on h1 don't expect them to trade profitably or to be robust on the other time frames keep the same time frames now what we need to do before we place the expert advisor over the chart we need to make green this auto trading button this allows the automated trading now after that there are two options one you double click on the expert advisor and the second is to drag it over the chart and i will show you on the next one so you see that already live trading is allowed from inputs you can see the inputs the stop loss the take profit the parameters of the different indicators and here is the magic number so each expert advisor or each strategy exported from EI studio comes with dynamic magic number it means that even you export hundreds of those they will be with different magic numbers and uh, we use these magic numbers later on to follow their performance i will show you about it so simply click on ok and you see that the expert advisor is already working here we have this smiley face which means that everything is all right and the expert advisor is already scanning the market for the signals to enter now we go to the next one as i said double click on it or you can drag it over the chart and same thing here inputs i click on ok and here it is same thing for the third one guys just click on ok and it will be working okay the three of the ethereum it's right over here and then the next one click double time okay and then the third one click twice okay this is how we place them it's very easy nothing hard just make sure to place the same time frames over the chart so if you have created strategies for m15 or m30 you should keep here m30 or m15 okay that the time frames where you have select just make sure that this time frame matches with this time frame over here so last i need to put for the dash i click double time on it i click on ok here again i click on ok and the last one i click on ok i click double times on it and i click on ok now we have the 12 expert advisors already in our demo account and they will start the trading now guys if you want to change something in the expert advisor on the later stage in the inputs the stop loss the take profit you can right click go to expert advisors and you click on properties so same menu comes up you see here the stop loss the take profit the inputs common settings from here actually you can choose if you want to trade only short or only long if you want your expert advisor only to buy or only to sell pretty much that's it this is how we place the expert advisors over the chart each one of those has a magic number so with these magic numbers i will show you in the next lecture how we follow the performance of each expert advisor and this is our system on algorithmic trading guys we put many strategies many expert advisors into a demo account and we select the top performers 
the top EAs that are currently making profit to put on a separate live account or of course to another demo account if you want to practice it which again I suggest you to do first. So I will continue the lectures once I have some performance out of these expert advisors and I will show you how to follow that performance and how to separate the top expert advisors into a separate account. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching and I wish you always to have a great day. Cheers, bye. Hello dear traders, it's Petko Alexander from EA Forex Academy and I continue with a little bit more of statistics that I have already. Still I have the three profitable trades on the top. These are the ones with the Bitcoin. So you can see guys, if I just move it a little bit sideways, that uh, these are exactly the magic numbers for the Bitcoin, 732374 and then we have a 508, yeah. And this is very, very normal guys because the Bitcoin is much more volatile than the other cryptos. It is normal that uh, the Bitcoin at the moment will make bigger profit but at the moment as well it will make bigger losses, much more volatile asset as you know. Anyway, what are the options now? One option is you can put the top three, the top five, or in this case, you can put the top six, which are currently making profit. You can see they are on profit. So if I click on net profit, you order the strategies according to the profits. Yeah, you can do the same as uh, with profit factor, with winner trades, with all the statistics here. But what we are looking for is uh, the net profit, guys. As I said, most of the time, you will see the Bitcoin that is on the top because uh, of its volatility. So what you can do guys, instead of taking the top expert advisors or strategies, you can take the top one from each cryptocurrency. So what I mean is you can take only this strategy that ends on 508 and then you take the best one from the Litecoin for example. So let's see which is this expert advisor ending on 065, 065, where is it? 065, it's right over here. This is for the Ethereum. And let's see which one is the other one. 314, 314, it is the one with the dash. So what you can do is you can take the top ones from each cryptocurrency. Currently we see that with the Litecoin, not yet a lot of data or we have these losing strategies, probably some of those are with uh, the Litecoin. I see this uh, 007 is with the Litecoin, then we have 291, 291 is with the Dash, 979 is with the Ethereum and these uh, last ones, 005 is with the Ethereum and 097 here with uh, the dash. So guys, it doesn't mean that these strategies are actually losing, all right? What it means is that they are currently making losses. And this is once again, because the market is changing and it's changing every day and it's normal. Every strategy, every expert advisor to has profits and to has losses. So what we do, we always keep in one account the top performers. I will show you now exactly this system. So it's up to you guys once again if you want to take the top three from all of the strategies, the top five, the top ten, it is your choice or if you want to have more diversification of different cryptocurrencies because if I put the top three I will stay only with the Bitcoin but my idea is actually to trade the top three from different cryptocurrencies. So what I will do, I will take the top one from the Bitcoin, the top one from the Dash and the top one from the Ethereum. So I will just write them down on a piece of paper or in any file guys. I'm writing the magic numbers of the strategies that I want to use. So the first one is 86638508. Now the next one is uh, the one here with uh, 065, one more time, let me check it, 065, yeah, it is with the Ethereum. So I will write it down, 87254065, alright? 
and then I will have this one over here which is 87110314 okay and this one as we saw it is with the dash okay so I have this strategy this strategy and this strategy okay guys so now I will show you how you need to select these three strategies I'm going to file open data folder and then I'm going to MQL4 and I click on experts and here are the 12 expert advisors right so what I will simply do I will take the ones with these numbers if you have many many strategies like 99 with our other courses you can write down the magic number so it will be easier for you to find it anyway with the 12 it's very easy guys so the Bitcoin one was uh, 508 it is this one I press and hold control so the other one is 065 it is this one over here with the Ethereum and 314 is this one with the dash so what I will do I will copy this and I will create one new folder that says top three and after that I will just paste these expert advisors here now what I will do guys I will open another demo account and I suggest you to do this whole process first on demo accounts and not to hurry going into live trading all right just to master it and to see how it's working so I will just copy this and I will go to another demo account that I have opened here and I will paste these expert advisors over here okay file open data folder then I click on MQL4 and I go to experts and I will paste these three expert advisors that I have selected from the other account I'm closing it I'm going to expert advisors and I will click on refresh and when it is ready you will see them just below expert advisors and here they are now I have here some forex currencies opened I will just uh, close this all all right and I will open one chart for the Bitcoin one chart for the Ethereum and one chart for the Dash so just closing all of these guys okay I have three opened so what I can do is I can just drag the Bitcoin over here I can drag the Ethereum over here and I can drag the Dash over here all right make sure to go on the exact time frame so I will make the others as well on H1 and the Bitcoin all right and the next thing is I need to enable the automated trading you can do it also with control plus E and then I will drag it over here I click on OK I will drag the Ethereum as well I will click on OK and I will drag the dash as well and I will click on OK so you see the three expert advisors are smiling and they are working now as well on this account so this is how we are doing it guys so we move the best performers you can create your own system you can create your own system for moving only one expert advisor you can change it you can do whatever you want basically with the expert advisors this is a simple system that I'm sharing with you. Just take top expert advisors from each time frame and place it in another demo account. And now guys, this process just repeats. We connect this account uh, with FX Blue. We follow this performance. We follow the performance of the other account where are the 12 expert advisors and if any of these 12 expert advisors starts to show better results than any of these three I will replace it I will delete it from here and I will put simply the better expert advisor all right guys very simple system hope it's clear don't worry if you have any questions or if you didn't understand something you can always ask me and I will be there to answer you. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Bye. This was the free basic trading course. To enroll to the complete course, use the discounted coupon below in the description. Also, there is the 30-day money-back guarantee for the course, which makes it risk-free for you to enroll. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, you can do it now, so you will receive all free courses from us. Enjoy the trading with the new skills.